Czech Republic um, came uh, came sixth last year with Nicholas Joseph, their best result. Um, in fact, they've only qualified from the semi-final twice. Uh, the the first time was back in 2016 with I Stand. Um, I'm sure many can remember that. For me, that was one of the better songs of 2016. Um, so, so, so Czech Republic this year, eight songs, which um, will go to a public vote and we will find out the winner on the 28th of this month. So, Joe, take, take us through the sort of the best songs for you. Which are your favourites and which which songs in, are in here that you're thinking no chance of qualifying? OK, um, well, my favourite to start with, I've got um, a list here. Um, Barbara um, Machova or Machova, is it? Um, I, with two colours. I think that is a quality song. She's a quality singer. Um, it, it doesn't quite build up. It, it's quite a nice slow ballad that builds up a little bit. Um, I love it. I voted for it because you can, of course, vote on the app. So of course I, I love I love that. Um, whether the Czech public will vote for it, I don't know because I think for, as of last year they'll probably go for something more up tempo, maybe another another male singer. I don't know. Um, and in which case, if they do, I think they may go for the group uh, Lake Malawi. Um, again, there's a little bit of there's a nice catchy part to it. It's quite a bit of sing along and there's a little tiny bit where one of the females sings it like being a friend and it's just that little catchy bit that you you go away and you start sort of I don't know thinking a bit and as you walk off it still kicks in your mind um so those are those are my two tips um there are probably some other ones that, that I can and choose it Pam Rabbit who's um great again name. I think a little bit of class yeah great name uh, back in singer for um, Mr. Joseph, I believe, last year as well. So, yeah, so she's got that Eurovision experience. They may go for her. So, again, she's on the list as well. Can I just point about Ra Pam Rabbit? I listen to that song. I immediately think it's a 2019 version of Paula Abdul. Do you know you could do? Yeah, could be. <laughs> That's what brings to mind. I think Paula Abdul every time. Paula Abdul or Martika. Who remembers Martika? Oh, I do remember my Showing our ages here. <laughs> Must be before my time then. <laughs> oh, oh, my soldiers. <laughs> Martin, what, what do you make of uh, the Czech songs? Um, uh, they're a good range of songs. I must admit, I've gone for Barbara Morocco, True Colours as well. That's where my vote went because I love the song. But I could see that there's some, especially Lake Malawi, they've got they played in festivals all over the Czech Republic and in the UK as well. So I could see that they might have a bit of a fan base already. And that might, might I suspect that's going to be a big deal with this sort of voting process of an online national final. You know, if they've got, you know, fan base already, they'll just, you know, be on the app straight away voting for them. I don't think there's any bad songs. There's a couple there that I'd probably say were a bit, I don't think they're going to get through and they're just making up the numbers, but you know, um, uh, sort of Andrew Holler and Yara Weimer. They're nice songs, but again, I don't think there's much there. But yeah, I'd probably be going for Barbara as my vote. And Tom? Totally different then. Um, it hasn't, um, how can I say, hasn't escaped my attention that Space Sushi has 116,000 uh, YouTube views already. And I think this is probably the most interesting act that's actually out there. Um, I've listened to it. I've looked at the video of it. I think there's a good chance it's going to win, to be honest. Um, he's got that Nicholas Joseph vibe, but without actually being Nicholas Joseph, it's a bit out there. Um, and I quite, I quite like that one. That is where my vote's gone. Um, if I was to go for any runners up on that, um, Friend of a Friend um, is another one that I've got down um, because that's quite catchy. Um, and then the other one is, um, where is it? Ah, the one I can't pronounce the name of, Plosny Slova Toby or something. But I, that's appalling pronunciation. It's the one that actually isn't in English. There we go. Um, but that's very upbeat and very dramatic. 
Um, and I think that might actually do something as well. But Space yeah. Sushi all the way for me. Jakub Andra, Space Sushi. Started singing at seven years old. Uh, he was signed by Universal at the age of 18. Um, he's, uh, I've got down here, modern core mid-tempo pop. Uh, and he looks to me, it reminds me of Ed Sheeran. That's uh, sort yeah. of where my head goes. Interesting, interesting theme of uh, Space Sushi. I, I like that song too, Tom, actually. It reminds me of a time I was, in, uh, I was eating Japanese food in Amsterdam. But that's just another story. Mm. It's got a very student vibe to it, I think. It has. It has. Uh, Oban, what are your favourites? Well, I have to tell you that I my word goes gone for the Lake Malawi because in 2015, Stockholm, uh, San Marino, Serhat, I didn't know, the 70s, 80s vibe, the same vibe I get it from him, his song, the melody, it's so old school, it's so my jam. I just love the music. I am not crazy about his voice, but he's charming young man, obviously. Uh, not a big vocal, but I think it just speaks to me out of these eight songs, I guess. And, and let me tell you this. I, I don't know what went wrong with Czech Republic uh, this year. I, I hope that they would keep the trend, like the modern, fresh, you know, something current but i'm a little bit disappointed <clears throat> there is a bit low interest in czech republic to eurovision actually there is none they always blame why they don't good do good i live there two and a half years but they also lack the effort to, to they don't put the effort to it except last year or also, also i like marta barta mm. uh, martina barta i think if i'm not mistaken uh, which she couldn't qualify that's right. Uh, in, in, in Ukraine, in Kiev, uh, 17. Um, so, yeah, my, my, my only favorite, uh, only song I like was A Friend of a Friend, Lake Malavia. Yeah. They've had some real shockers, uh, Czech Republic, in the past. But actually, the last few years, <laughs> those songs have been really good standard. Exactly. Um, and I think you're right. Martina's song was very good. Um, I think uh, Gabriela Gunchakova's song with, uh, or Gunchakova's song with uh, I Stand. I Stand. Was, one of their better songs um but i mean you can't really look beyond Nicholas joseph he took it to a whole new level last year well, well Mikolas was the only one who put the money and the effort and the work for the staging if you think of except the aven romale in moscow 2009 i don't think of any any staging except Mikolas joseph mm -hmm. so so that's why he, he actually when you when you say six actually they got fourth in the televotes uh, Czech Republic is a country who got absolute zero point when back it was uh, only Televot, there was no juries, there were 0 0.1 point and now they become fourth yeah. ahead, ahead of Sweden so yeah. it's a great success and Tristan, your, your favourites in Czech Republic? Um, I, I, I personally really like Barbara Mokova um, I think it's, a, it's, one of the, it's one of the only songs where it's a great voice Quite a nice song, <coughs> and really, really nice dreamy instrumentals. And also, she 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 looks really re she's a really attractive singer as well. Not that should make any difference, um, but just those those three things: the great voice, great song, and great instrumentals. A, a lot of the others have got two of those things, but not three. So, for example, I I really liked um, Pam Pamela Rabbit, but the the song needs quite a lot of work done to it. She's got a good voice, and it's a Again, good music, but just the song itself just needs some work. Um, then you got other ones where the song is just really boring, like like Java Vima, but it's but it has got a nice instrumental sound to it. Um, and then and then Hanna Barber's fantastic instruments, but the song is just so repetitive; it goes on and on and on, um, and it gets quite boring. Um, but so, but for me, it's probably Barbara Mokova. And Pam Rabbit. Pam Rabbit's got. If you haven't seen it, the Pam Rabbit, Pamela Rabbit video is really fun. It's her um, in this flat. Well, actually, all all of them are filmed in the same flat. Uh, but um, she's it's more inventive. She sticks the, her phone on the on the wall um, and does her makeup, and then she get, and then the, then there's some lights in the bottom of her bath, and she's dancing in the bath with the with the phone dancing, singing into the phone. It's really it's it's fun, and it's a bit more work has gone into the video. Um, uh, and it's quite a funky song as well. So for me, it's Barbara and Pam. So I think to summarise then, because my favourite also would be Space Sushi. 
and uh, and the the song I can't remember the name of True Colors True Colors by Barbara Mochova. So I think what we're saying is uh, Lucy Fan TV are saying that Barbara Mo Mochova with True Colors, uh, we're saying Lake Malawi with Friend of a Friend, and most likely Jacob Ondra with Space Sushi are going to be the three which on one of those are most likely to qualify. However, tallying all your numbers up, I make it that True Colors is going to be represented Czech Republic.